Oh, more big news as the city looks to rebound during the pandemic. An announcement bringing basketball back to Bankers Life Fieldhouse for the first time in nearly nine months, ever since the Big Ten tournament was canceled back in March. Wish TV's Dan Klein joins us live outside the Fieldhouse. And Dan, it's a matchup of the preseason number one versus number two. Yeah, Gonzaga versus Baylor. Two teams with high hopes to come back to Indianapolis in April to play for a championship. And this is no small thing. Since IU and Nebraska walked off that court months ago, no basketball team has come back. Fans or no fans, it's exciting to get back into basketball of any kind. And now basketball is coming back to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Two championship hopefuls squaring off on December 5th just 11 days into the men's basketball season. Always good for teams to, to start off their season the same place they hopefully will end up, uh, you know, in the NCAA uh, championship. But that's not the only reason. Pacers Sports and Entertainment President, as well as Indiana Sports Corp Chairman Rick Fusen says, it's a sign of trust that even in a pandemic, Indianapolis can deliver because it's put on so many other big events through the years. To get sports back here, I think, is a, is a great business. We know we're going to play in one of the finest, if not the finest, basketball gyms in this country. Um, and and so I think it, it says a lot of things. I think it says a lot of things about Indiana and Indianapolis. It will also be the first game at the Fieldhouse since the first phase of construction renovations were finished. The game will be televised, but there will be no fans in attendance. Fusen says that decision was made by others. On television, it's certainly better than not having it all. This is not uh, our decision. This was the decision of the promoter and the team. So, um, you know, you, you have to respect exactly uh, what the promoter and the teams uh, want to do. Still, basketball is back. Gonzaga and Baylor walking on the court 275 days after IU and Nebraska last walked off it. I am just uh, thrilled about the whole thing. For two colleges which are located so far away from Indiana, there actually are some local ties. DeMontis Sabonis for the Pacers played for Gonzaga, and Lauren Cox, a rookie with the Indiana Fever, played for Baylor. As for that proposal from the Indiana Sports Corp to bring a basketball bubble to the Indiana Con uh, Convention Center, Rick Fusen says there's no announcement for that yet. Reporting live downtown, Dan Klein, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.